put your hands together for America's largest son, Sam Bell! What's up, everybody? Wow, I went backstage for 10 minutes, and now there's a lot of people. Look at that, huh? Hi, everyone. My name's Sam Bell, and yes, I have had sex during the Mamma Mia movie. And ladies, I haven't seen the second one yet, all right? <laughs> Wow. Uh, recently came out as bi to everyone I know. <laughs> Thank you. It's great, everyone's been congratulating me, which made me realize when I was out as straight, no one was ever congratulating me for anything. <laughs> really could have used some of that positive reinforcement. <laughs> That was legitimately terrifying. I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> now that I'm out, I do have something else to tell you all. And this one's hard, but um, I think all of the cats in the Cats movie are really hot. <laughs> Jason Derulo can rum tum tug me. The other day, I almost accidentally quit my job. I don't know where they got the idea from. All I did was throw a hamburger at my manager and scream, fuck you, I'm quitting, while running out the door. I don't know where they got the idea. Just a really big misunderstanding. Went back in the next day and they said, you don't have a job anymore. So I think I'm good. I feel like there's no follow up I have to do. I'll just keep going in, right? Okay. Do you guys pay attention to the news? Yeah, the news. Did you guys hear about what happened a few weeks ago in Iowa? They've got all that corn. <laughs> and they get the corn to vote for who should be president. <laughs> it's true, I did get to read up a little bit on how uh, caucuses work, which is a fun thing. Essentially, they get everyone into a room and say, if you like Bernie Sanders and think he should be president, stand on that side of the room. And if you think ice cream's a good dessert, please stand on this side of the room. <laughs> Seems like a messed up system to vote, you know? <laughs> Been in a bad place emotionally recently. <laughs> Went to Dairy Queen and got regular food. <laughs> with no blizzard attached. <laughs> Fun thing about going to the drive through at Dairy Queen when you have body image issues is getting to order a belt buster while crying and the woman on the other line saying, I don't get paid enough to deal with this shit. I don't need it this time, I remember. My sister lives in New York City, thank you. My sister lives in New York City and I was visiting her recently and we were walking back to her apartment one night. She turns to me and she goes, you know, I like walking with you because you're big and intimidating and I don't think anyone would mess with us. And I laughed for a long time. Part of me gets it, you know, I'm six feet tall. Uh, I look like this, except, <laughs> This face and this body are not the face and body of a man who in the event of a mugging or some other form of assault or robbery would protect his home and his family. <laughs> this is the face and body of a man who would throw his wallet at the guy and run home to cry in the shower. <sighs> you guys like Scooby-Doo? 
it's great. It's great. Uh, I love Scooby-Doo. I feel like it shaped my life. I feel like it shaped uh, my political ideology. I hate cops because of Scooby-Doo. Always arresting people for dressing like wolfmen in their own swamp castles. <laughs> they're called furries and they're American citizens. <laughs> I broke my leg over the summer. It's a great experience. You learn a few things, like specifically if you break your leg, it means that you're in pain for the rest of time. Um, it's great, I love standing for long periods of time, telling jokes to people while my leg is going, oh God. What is happening? I don't have a lot of um, luck with women. <laughs> Does anybody? <laughs> I'm seeing this girl a while back. And um, the first night that we were about to have hardcore sex with each other, um, we're making out in her bed and she leaned into my ear and she goes, what do you want to do next? Not like that, probably like more sexy. Uh, I did it, you know, just as a, in a stand-up way. Uh, she leans into my ear and she goes, what do you want to do next? And I go, whatever works, we'll go with it. <laughs> Gotta say bad answer. <laughs> she asked me again, come on, <laughs> what do you want to do next? <laughs> This time I said, we'll play it by ear, see what happens. <laughs> Third time she asked me, I realized something. This is for everyone in the audience here. If a girl asks you three times what you want to do next, she's trying to get you to take control of the situation. And I am <laughs> terrified of decision making. <laughs> I like to be told what to do, not in a domination way, just an I can't decide for shit way. <laughs> um, so I'm single now. I'm single, which means I uh, jerk off a lot, fellas. It's true, uh, but it got boring for me recently. I decided to spice things up, so I tried BDSM. Turns out it's hard to jerk off when your hands are tied to your bed frame. I was up there for so long, my roommate had to call the fire department to come jerk me off. Thank you everyone, that's been my time.